Welcome to another product update video where we're highlighting the hottest releases from HubSpot in the past month. We've got a bunch of good ones for you today, so let's hop right in. First up, chat flows can now be moved to the new help desk. So if you have a chat flow that's associated with your conversations inbox, you can come to it on the chat flows page and use this new move to help desk button to migrate it over into your help desk. This will be a process you're walked through a step at a time, and then you can have your chat flows right inside that unified help desk experience. Next up, we have a slew of new deal properties for you. For every deal stage in every one of your pipelines, you now have four new properties. One is date entered, which is the date that a deal entered each one of your stages. The next is date exited, so you can see the date that a deal exited any particular stage. We also have cumulative time in, which tells you the total amount of time a deal has been in that stage, even if it's left and come back. And then we also have latest time in, which tells you how long the deal was in that stage the most recent time it was in there. Next up, over in HubSpot's app marketplace, a lot of our apps and integrations have gotten recent updates. Definitely recommend checking out the release notes to get all the details on these. But the main call to action here is to keep your eye on the app marketplace. There are always new things happening there. We want to give you as many opportunities as possible to connect your other systems into HubSpot to have a unified tech stack. Next up, you can now add recurring products to your invoices as a one-time charge. So if I'm creating this invoice here and I wanna select a product from my product library, I have this monthly charge that's $1,000 a month. But when I add it to my invoice, it will just be for one month charge because an invoice is a one-time payment. Next up is teasers for blog posts where membership is required. Every blog post you create in HubSpot has this little read more preview line that you can drag to different levels inside the blog post. When you have memberships turned on and require self-registration, visitors will see down to that point before they are required to sign in. So if a visitor looks at your page and they have not created an account, they'll be able to see down to that line and then they will be prompted to sign up for membership to this content. The final update we want to draw your attention to is that HubSpot now supports Google Consent Mode V2. So if you're using our Google Analytics 4 integration or our Google Tags Manager integration, you can now use Google Consent as part of your ads policy. That's all the updates we've got for you this month. Be sure to check the release notes for full details on everything that came out and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.